Creatine. Creatine is an amino acid essential for many cellular functions throughout the body. It is one of the most studied and widely used supplements for improving exercise and physical performance. Science shows creatine helps supply muscles with energy to complete physical activity on a cellular level. Research has shown that creatine helps increase strength, power, and the maximum number of sets completed during exercise. Many studies on creatine have been performed in young people without health conditions. More studies are needed to understand the usefulness of creatine for older and other groups of people. Your liver, kidneys, and pancreas naturally make creatine. You also get creatine from foods like red meat and fish, as well as dietary supplements. Typical creatine dosage is 20 grams daily for five to seven days, followed by three to five grams daily for up to 12 weeks. Reported side effects of creatine supplementation include weight gain due to water retention, nausea, diarrhea, muscle cramps, and heat intolerance. Staying hydrated can limit the risk of experiencing these side effects. Two, carnitine. Carnitine is a compound naturally produced in the brain, liver, and kidneys. Carnitine plays a role in energy metabolism. Research suggests it can increase oxygen intake and power output during exercise. Studies have also found that consuming carnitine supports post-workout recovery by healing the damaged cells that cause muscle soreness. Several studies have also found that carnitine intake improves muscle growth. More studies are needed to understand the benefits of carnitine in muscle growth and repair. You can consume carnitine through red meats, fish, and certain plants. You can also take it as a capsule, tablet, or powder supplement. Doses range from 1 to 4 grams daily for up to one year. Common side effects reported with carnitine include stomach cramps, nausea, diarrhea, and a fish-like odor. 3. Whey Protein Whey is a protein found in milk that contains the essential amino acids necessary for muscle growth. Whey is digested more quickly than other protein products, such as soy or casein. It also often includes more leucine, an amino acid that helps build muscle. Consistent consumption of whey protein with exercise may improve strength and muscle growth. Less frequent use or lower doses of whey protein do not seem to help with athletic performance. The best food source of whey protein is dairy, especially milk. You can also consume whey protein in supplement forms, including powders, bars, and shakes. Studies have safely used whey protein doses of up to 30 grams for up to six months. Most whey protein powders contain 20 to 30 grams of protein per scoop or serving. Potential side effects of whey include bloating, diarrhea, thirst, and nausea. If you have a known milk allergy, you should avoid whey protein. The protein may also interact with levodopa, a medication that treats Parkinson's disease. Number four, branch chain amino acids, BCAAs. Branch chain amino acids, BCAAs, include leucine, isoleucine, and valine. BCAAs help provide energy to skeletal muscle cells during exercise. Available studies on BCAAs have reported that they may help improve muscle size and strength while limiting damage and soreness after exercise. BCAAs are available in certain foods like meat, chicken, and dairy, or as a powder supplement. Studies report that 10 to 14 grams daily may benefit muscle size and strength. No safety concerns are reported with up to 20 grams a day of BCAAs for up to six weeks. Common side effects reported with BCAAs include diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. Large doses of BCAAs may interact with the Parkinson's disease medication, Levodopa. Number five, glutamine. Glutamine is an amino acid created by BCAAs and found in your muscles and blood. Glutamine is the key amino acid in metabolism and energy production and plays a role in many biological processes. Glutamine may help with muscle strength and recovery after exercise and athletic performance. Research is conflicting about whether glutamine helps improve muscle performance and athletic performance. Glutamine supplements often come in powder form. Glutamine has been studied in doses of up to 45 grams daily for six weeks. Side effects reported with glutamine include bloating, constipation, headache, and musculoskeletal pain. 6. Beta-hydroxy-beta-methylbutyrate, HMB. Beta-hydroxy-beta-methylbutyrate, HMB, is a metabolite of the amino acid leucine necessary for the production of cholesterol in the liver. It may speed up the healing of damaged and stressed skeletal muscle cells. Some studies also report that HMB helps improve power, strength, and performance in trained and untrained people. 
Other studies have conflicting results and are unsure of HMB's effect on muscle growth and strength. HMB is available in two forms, a calcium-containing form, HMB-CA, and a calcium-free form, HMB-FA. You should use the calcium-free form if you want to limit your calcium intake. HMB dosing ranges from 1.5 to 6 grams daily, with 3 grams being the most commonly reported dosage. Experts recommend taking HMB-CA 60-120 minutes before exercise and HMB-FA 30-60 to 60 minutes before exercise for at least two weeks. There are no reported safety concerns in doses of 3 grams daily for up to two months and no commonly reported side effects. Betaine. Betaine, also known as trimethylglycine, is a compound found in sugar beet juice. The way betaine helps with muscle growth is not well understood. Research suggests it increases creatine levels, which helps improve energy for activities. Many studies report that betaine helps improve strength and power-based performance, especially in bodybuilders and cyclists. However, some data shows that betaine is not particularly useful in muscle growth and strength. Betaine is found in certain foods, including spinach, beets, and whole grain bread, and as a capsule or powder supplement. The average amount of betaine received from diet ranges from 100 to 300 mg a day. Effective dosing for betaine supplementation ranges from 2 to 5 grams daily for up to 15 days. There are no reported side effects with betaine. 8. Coenzyme Q10 Coenzyme Q10, CoQ10, is a natural product found in the heart, liver, kidneys, and pancreas. Some evidence suggests that CoQ10 has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties that may help prevent muscle damage caused by exercise. More research is needed to confirm this theory. Typical doses of CoQ10 range from 60 to 1,000 mg daily for up to 12 weeks. Side effects reported include insomnia and stomach upset. CoQ10 may interact with certain medicines, including the blood thinner warfarin, insulin, and certain cancer treatments. Room 9. Dehydroepiandrosterone, DHEA. Dehydroepiandrosterone, DHEA, is a steroid hormone converted into testosterone or estradiol in the body. Some research shows that DHEA may benefit physical performance and muscle growth. However, other studies have found no evidence of strength or body improvements from taking DHEA. DHEA supplements are available in capsule or powder form. DHEA is considered safe in doses of up to 150 mg daily for 6 to 12 weeks. Side effects associated with DHEA include headache, insomnia, mood changes, and nausea. Women taking DHEA may experience increased testosterone levels over time, which can cause side effects like acne or facial hair. DHEA is banned by certain agencies, including the National Collegiate Athletic Association, NCAA, and the International Olympic Committee, IOC. Or 10. Beta-alanine. Beta-alanine is an amino acid that helps create carnosine in the muscles, Carnosine is a dipeptide that regulates the pH of muscles, helping to limit muscle fatigue and improve exercise performance. Research on beta-alanine's effects on muscle growth and exercise performance offers inconsistent results. Results are also conflicting based on the type of exercise completed and how long it lasts. More research is needed to understand the benefits of beta-alanine. Experts recommend taking 4 to 6 grams of beta-alanine daily divided into doses of 2 grams or less. If taken consistently, carnosine levels in the muscle should rise 40 to 60% after 4 weeks and 80% after 10 weeks. Beta-alanine can be found in capsule or powder form and is considered safe in doses between 1.6 to 6.4 grams daily for up to 8 weeks. Itchy skin is a common side effect reported with beta-alanine. Tingling in the face, hands, neck, and upper body has been reported with doses of 800 milligrams or higher. 